So the very last step now, go back to equation one, which is this guy right here. Okay, now remember that this R right here, so this term, this M A G term, this R is dependent on the direction of this AG. Now this AG has just been found to be horizontal, which means that now the R, the, the moment arm term, is the shortest distance between point B and this vector, which is this distance right there, okay, perpendicular distance, which is half of this height right there. So that's point oh nine meters, okay, oh 90 millimeters, okay, so it's just this right here. So plug everything out in, okay. So this is I, which is 112 ml squared, 112 ml squared, alpha, just been found, m.3, ag has just been found before, and then mg r1, which is the distance between um, the weight okay, vector and the, uh, the point B, which is 0.12, and then divided by the distance between the force vector and point B, which is this distance right there, okay? It's 0.24, so crunch number, that is the answer. And it's a positive number, which means that our original assumption of FD as pointing up is correct. It means that it's positive J direction, going up. That's it.